Well, what to do, what to do, what I want to do, I'll tell you what I want to do. Is I want to research new topics. I want to get some... Horror! We got horror. Start your research, woman. I want to make a horror game. I don't know why, but I want to make a horror game. And I feel as though since we have $171 million just to kind of throw around aimlessly, we should spend that money by doing a little bit of a horror game. Hmm? Hmm? You know I have no idea how to make a good horror game? <laughs> no idea whatsoever, in fact. Ultimate 3.0? Let's see here. Large. I, I was told in the comments not to do large until I get all six people, so I guess we'll stay at medium. But uh, it will be a horror simulation, strategy, RPG, adventure, action. I don't know which one to go with. Horror adventure sounds the closest, right? I don't know. And we will make it for the PC and PlayStation 4. And wait, did I hit PlayStation 4? Well, that was just silly. We gotta do it on the PlayStation 5. Oh, God! Well, wait a minute, I'm not poor anymore. That's not even a lot. <laughs> $1.5 million, man, just to develop on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox next. Alright, so that's a mature game. We're gonna do a medium. It's gonna be a horror adventure on our fancy engine. What we named the horror thing. So, there's a couple movies I like. I like the Friday the 13th series with Jason Voorhees. I like uh, Halloween with Michael Myers. I like to tie those in somehow. All right. If we make this a series, this is how we're going to do We're going to start off as Halloween. There's going to be Halloween 2. There's going to be like the return of Nero. I can say Michael Myers being replaced with Nero. That's what we're doing. And yeah. I hope it, I hope Horror Adventure is a good combo. I think of all the different combinations, that was probably the best one. I don't know, though. All right, so apparently story and quest on adventure game are very... Wait, wait, we've done plenty of adventure games. We already know this stuff. Well, at least I, I know this stuff. All right, so that's a 96. Wait, engine needs to just poop down. Wait. So apparently engine has to be at like 100. You guys say that everything needs to be 100, all right? I don't see how, like, that's even possible to do, because apparently to have engine, which is not even useful, you know what? I'm putting that down, and I'm putting that medium, and I'm putting that all the way up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't understand that whole 100% thing. I don't understand it at all. Hi, boss. We have a knack for security. All right. And you guys also tell me I need to do the security thing so people don't steal my credit card anymore. So that'll be a good thing. Apparently, I missed it, too. That There was, like, a, like my monthly uh, fees or whatever where, like, a bunch of random numbers and letters. And I didn't even notice that. Hi. This is Gary White from Gamers. We got Word and working on a new game. All right. Interview. What is your expectation regarding the success of the game? I'm going to be modest. Thank you for your time. I'm usually, I usually hype it up, but uh, maybe I've also re I read all your comments. And uh, one of you said that hyping up the game and having it not be so good can have like a huge negative effect, like on the ratings or something. I don't know. Dialogue giant, level design not so giant, and artificial intelligence and in adventure game I don't think is very big. But wait, if I drop this down. To here, and I don't understand how to get all these to a hundred without dropping down like the thing I need it most. I don't freaking know. All right, so artificial intelligence we're gonna put relatively low. Level design is just gonna be very low, I guess. I wait, 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 wait. Aha! Everything's at a hundred right now. I don't know how I did that, but I did. <laughs> so there we go. Oh wow, this game's getting all the hype, isn't it? I was getting a lot of points. Maybe that's from going, making things all to 100. It takes a longer time to do stuff. Because, I don't know, it seems like it's taking a while there. World design, giant. No, giant. Wait, Manuel's not even that great at design. Paul Reed is very good at design. So Paul Reed, you can work at world design. Just because it also has design in the name. Wait, surround sound? Yeah, it's already on surround sound. Open world, virtual economy, we don't need any of those because 
a horror adventure game. All right, so how are we on? All right, how do I make these go to 100? All right, well, that doesn't help at all. All right, we can do that. I don't remember how I did this. Sound should be good in the horror game. I have no idea. I don't know how to make these go to 100. See, those are all nicened up now. Then if you up that, it's like, oh, well, that just screws everything up, doesn't it? Like, I'm looking over here at the percentages. I don't understand how to make these work. They just randomly work sometimes. All I know is world design is big. And graphics, of course, are going to be relatively important, I would say. And sound, not so much. But not all the way down, because that just, like, ignores it completely. And so we're going to do it somewhere along the lines of that. I don't know. Screw it. I'm throwing it out there. I don't understand this game. I'll never understand it. Everyone keeps throwing suggestions out, but I still don't understand it. It's still, it, no, no one gives reasons as, as to why it matters to have them at 100%, but they say, no, put them at 100%. That's all you gotta do. And it's like, but it says that I need to do this and make it so the game focuses on this. And it's like, no, make them 100%. Then I don't get it. That's a lot of design points, actually. That's right. That's right. Keep putting more in that fancy game there. More, more of the things. No, go away, bug. All right, so it's not personal. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good, but 177 is not our personal best in design anymore. Halloween's gonna be all the scaries. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so we're back to doing this. Cool. Oh, just without any explanation whatsoever. You know, I wa I actually watched uh, Total Biscuit's review of this game, like uh, his WTF is Game Dev Tycoon. It's like, it's a game, it's just a random number generator, and nothing seems to make any sense in it. I'm like, yeah, now that I've played the game, it makes a whole lot of damn sense. Nothing makes sense in this game. <sighs> I don't want to send you on vacation. I want to, to generate game report and figure out why we screwed up, even though it's, oh, wow. I didn't realize I can jerk the whole screen around like that. I apologize for that. Seems that RPG games are especially popular at this moment. Well, it'd be nice to be able to. So why can I jerk around the screen like this? I've never actually noticed this before. This is me doing that, by the way. This isn't editing. This is me just jerking the screen around for no reason, which is just weird to me. I don't know why it's like this. Hopefully that evens it out. Ah, Wait. No, we just got word of Halloween. Recently released one off was Rack Door 500k. Ah, cool. Go on vacation. Go on vacation. Go on vacation. Now this is bothering me. I can't tell, like, where it was originally. Like, where the screen was. I don't like how you can move it around. That's just weird. Oh, cool. We sold a million units on a game that had horrible reviews. <laughs> Post analysis is complete. Horror adventures, great combination. Artificial intelligence is not important. Platform match adventure PlayStation 5 is bad. PS guys don't like adventure, huh? Additional insight. We should try to focus our entire team on the development of a game. Yeah, 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 go. You're, you're not exactly clear on how that works either. We just got word that Halloween, which was recently released by Neuropolis, has racked up over 1 million in sales. Competitors have been observing, muttering, yeah, yeah, you, you muttering your remarks. Well, Irene, go on vacation. I see you're next to collapsing in your chair. Which, of course, we don't want that. We want to get her back here. See, the popular game's an RPG. I could make another Nero Scrolls game. But it'll be unpopular by the time I get done. <laughs> Although... I have an idea for another Nero Scrolls game. The Nero Scrolls Online! Ha ha! Ha 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 Ever think of that? Huh? Nero Scrolls Online? That'd be awesome. Hey, everyone's already back. You know what? We're gonna begin work on that. Because screw your stupid wussy adventure games that make no sense. We can make another Halloween eventually. But! We're about to make Nero Scrolls Online. We're about to make all kinds of money. Wow. The Nero Scrolls Online. From there, we can make expansions and stuff. Nero Scrolls Online. It'll be on PC and Xbox Next. 
and PlayStation 5. Which apparently, I don't know if RPGs will be good, but they might be. So, alright, Nero Scrolls Online, next. It's been a while since a good Nero Scrolls game is released, and fans are starting to get tense, especially because we're getting close to year 35. So, I guess we should start working on this. Story and quest, big gameplay, yeah. Okay, so this is all basically at where I want it to be, what I can tell. Hopefully it's right. I, they say to incorporate your guys, okay. So which one of these guys is best at gameplay? Is it tech or design? They don't exactly tell you. And that is one of the flaws of this game, I must say. Big flaw, big flaw. How many is off the market? It sold 1.2 million units, generating 13.5 million in sales. All right, apparently I'm just gonna continue to be rich, making 13 million off a game that had like fives. Oh boy, the Nero Scrolls Online. Shouldn't everybody be hyped? All the hype. I want all the hype. I want all the people this year. I want all the people. All the peoples. All the peoples. All the peoples. All the peoples. All the people. All the ba 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 ba. One million two hundred forty-six thousand four hundred sixty-two people. That's a lot of people. Forty-four. All right, we're in the top 50. Yes, give us all the hype. All the hype. Wow, we are just going bacon, eggs, and ham on this game, aren't we? All right, Dialogue Giant. Our official intelligence is apparently not so giant. But this is relatively giant, so this is so this is how we do it there. You see that there? That's how we do it there. That's how you make... Oh, wait. Okay, I can't, I can't change any of that. There's AI companions in this game. I think it's multiplayer. I don't know if I checked that part at the beginning. <laughs> but apparently it doesn't matter. Wow, that's a lot of design points. Not a lot in technology though, I must say. World design, I imagine, is giant in an RPG game. Open world, virtual economy. I'm putting in that stuff because screw you guys, it's going in there. Uh, sound apparently is not so good, but I'm gonna put world design and graphics at, you know, roughly that. But then again, I could just do this and make the world design go down. But I want the world design to be at 100, so it's going roughly about there. And Paul Reed's about to, about to keel over here. So why don't we switch me and him, and then we can switch in, we can switch Irene with Paul. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, now Paul's not, like, falling over dying. <laughs> Popular game is an RPG. This is an RPG. Wonder if, I'll be, wonder if I can get it out in time. Huh. I figured the popular genre would go away by now. Apparently it hasn't. Alright, fix all them damn bugs. Alright, popular game RPG. Hero Schools Online. Money. Money. But a small number of fans recently asked that we release the source code to one of our older games, Test Engine. <laughs> okay, you guys want the Test Engine that I threw together for no reason? Alright. We gained 31,400 fan, 31, fans and it cost us $3,000. That's awesome. And the market is normalized. I, I was just about to hit finish, too. The market normalized. But you know what? Look at all these points we got here. And we're just throwing more in there. Look at the hype. 370 hype is insane. And we also broke a record in design points. Now watch as it gets nothing but fives. Oh, wow. Wow. So we level up gameplay, story quests, level design, artificial intelligence, 3D graphics, and my, my guy, player, leveled up. Wow. Skill trees! We didn't have skill trees before? Skill trees, interactive story, moral choices, and dynamic environment. Oh, man. So I can make a Call of Duty game with dynamic environment, you say? The first uh, reviews for a game, Nero Scrolls Online, came in. Prepare for the fours and the fives and the sixes. Okay, an eight. And a seven. Beautiful. Seven. Six! I I've never seen them go down like this. Was so this going to be a four? All right, another eight. That kind of that kind of saved me there. Jeez, I they were all pretty positive reviews for the most part, but a six. I mean, hot diggity. Irene, get generating that game report. He's got word. Oh, that's where I got five hundred thousand in sales. Well, that's not a ton for the first week. 
well, you know, it'll be money. In two months of PlayStation 4 will be taken off the market. Wow, we're really in the future, aren't we? And tracked up a million in sales. Get to work in there, Irene. And Wyatt, I see you sitting over there. I love being the boss when you yell at people. I see him sitting over there doing nothing. What do you got here? Skill trees. Why aren't we working on moral choices? Interactive story, full motion video. Oh, this is also cool. Gotta yeah, get, get working on them skill trees. Because skill trees are cool. We're going to post release analysis of the Nero Schools Online complete. World design seems to be very important. I know it. And RPG and Xbox Next is good. That's all we got out of that, Irene. Hmm. Good for nothing. That's what she is. Good for nothing. Just for that, Irene. You are about to research us a new topic. Superheroes. Time travel. These are all stupid. Superheroes, I guess. Get to working. And Paul, I see you over there. Time to research a new topic. Werewolf. And Manuel. Sitting on your ass over there doing nothing. Start work. Rhythm. What is even a thing? Wow, I don't like any of these, to be honest. But for just the sake of it, research rhythm. We're never going to use it, but research it so we can just get it out of the way and we can start getting new topics, I guess. Rhythm is stupid, but why is it even a game topic? Rhythm. What would that, would that be? Like Guitar Hero? I don't know. PlayStation 4 is no, no longer supported. You released three games on this platform and earned $196 million from it. Yeah, I'm pretty much awesome. All right. Wow, they don't need a vacation anymore? Researching was enough vacation? I can just have them research stuff now? Well, hidely hodily. That's pretty freaking neat, Reno. Let's, uh... What we got here for a new game? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. We can do a superheroes game, a horror game, a werewolf game, a surgery game, a dungeon game, a UFO game, a racing game, a mystery game, a military game, a transport game. Mm. What about military transport? Or space transport, intergalactic travel game. Intergalactic. A space transport simulator, an intergalactic travel simulator game. We could do that. I'm thinking a werewolf game. Because werewolf is cool. Wait, wouldn't werewolf have to be a horror game? We're a werewolf simulator? <laughs> I'm making that game. I'm making werewolf simulator on the PC, and nobody's gonna be able to stop me. Nobody. Werewolf Simulator 2014. <laughs> this is E for everybody. Wait. I don't know if that should be E for everybody. Yep, it's E for everybody. Werewolf Simulator is happening. This is a thing. This is totally going to be a thing. Werewolf Simulation. <laughs> okay, so gameplay is giant, story and quest, like not really at all, and engine, yes. Let's put that up just right there, just a little bit, just because apparently it's bad to have them all down, I don't know. Werewolf Simulator 2014! Werewolf Simulator 2014! Werewolf Simulator 2014! Werewolf Simulator 2014! This is gonna be the greatest game ever! And we sold 3 million copies, generating 32.3. Three million in sales on Nero Schools Online. Alright, so artificial intelligence needs to be giant. Dialogue, nothing. And level design, I guess, a little bit. Pfft, I don't know. We're getting close, boys. We are nine months away from the quote unquote end of the game. What a great end game, Werewolf Simulator. And graphics, giant, world design, boo, and sound. Let's make that up there. Make it make it, make it, it nice. We don't need a virtual economy or an open world in this game. Day and night cycle would be very nice. Um, Hi-ho. Wow, this game's got like no design points and really no technology points, but it's got all the hype. So, I don't know. We'll have to see how this works. All the hype. It's Werewolf Simulator. Everyone's going to want to play Werewolf Simulator. You can walk around and eat people. And see everybody. This is, gonna be, this is either going to be the greatest game I've ever done. Or the biggest flop. What I've ever done. Get that book out of there. 
All right, let's finish her off. We're losing our hype. Get away with all you. We didn't level up nothing. Oh, wow. No. Well, why add the level up? So you got to pay him more money. Now, again, money's not really a problem anymore. Gets 12000 extra dollars. <laughs> Special training for why it's now available. Where's our reviews? Oh, we're going to go to the game convention first. At G3, otherwise known as E3. Werewolf Simulator 2014. <laughs> Why is everybody not coming to Werewolf Simulator 2014? Spend your money here. If Goat Simulator has taught me anything, is people will pay money for complete garbage. Well, 1.4 million. There we go. All I got to do is make complete garbage. And that's what people want to see. And we made this in the top 25. Okay. And here come the first reviews for Werewolf Simulator 2014. Please have some dignity. Don't say it's a good game. All right, could have been better. How do you make a werewolf simulator game better, Star Games? I'd love to know. <laughs> Informed gamer. I have seen better. Oh, there's better werewolf simulators out there. Hmm. Game Hero. Yeah, there you go. All games. All games likes it. Game Hero is over here. Like, yeah, I've seen better werewolf simulators than that. Now, because I'm pretty sure I'm the first person in the history of the world to come up with the idea of a werewolf simulator. That's not something people just do. Irene, get working on that game report. Pretty sure I'm the only person that's ever done that ever. I'm fairly positive. 